Hi, everyone. My name is Reverend Eileen Mahoney. I'm a One Spirit graduate, and I'm an expressive arts therapist and a mindfulness practitioner. I'm also an initiate in the Anayatiya Sufi order, and I am a member of Thich Nhat Hanh's Order of Engaged Buddhism. Um, I've taken a very deep dive into the mystical traditions of Christianity, Sufism, and Buddhism. Um, I have a private practice in which I offer workshops and spiritual companionship to groups and individuals. And it's my intention working with those folks to help them really tap into the spirit of their souls and enliven their lives. I'm also working on a book called The Greening of the Soul, which does exactly that. Hopefully I'll be helping people reclaim their aliveness. I'm really excited to be offering this program, Cultivating Presence, Thich Nhat Hanh's Greening of the Soul, because in it, I'm pulling together two seemingly separate traditions and teachings. Buddhism, as you know, is a non-religious ancient spiritual path. While greening is a phrase recently coined and refers to a term used by a 13th century Catholic nun. So you may well ask, what does a 13th century Catholic nun have to do with a 20, 21st century monk who interpreted a 3000 year old teaching? Well, I just invite you to stay tuned and come to the workshop because it's really going to be interesting and it's a great example of inner spirituality and inner being. During these times of transitions with so much going on, it's more important than ever to have ways to cultivate healing and resilience for ourselves and each other. And practicing presence or mindfulness is a way to do that. And of course, it's really the underpinning of any healing modality or method. <clears throat> In this four-part series, we'll explore Thich Nhat Hanh's teachings as a way to cultivate being present. And this presence, this mindfulness, allows us to clear away the cobwebs of our hearts, minds, and souls so that we can be fresh and engage in life more fully. And greening is the process of that ongoing refreshing of our souls, again, so we can bring more aliveness into our relationships. These practices help us to concentrate, be mindful or aware, and to have insight so that we can literally transform our own suffering and that of others. We can't help others if we're not awake, if we're not clear and resilient. So we need to refresh or green ourselves on a continual basis. That way we can continually reclaim peace, joy, and equanimity in our lives. Thich Nhat Hanh is well known for his teachings on Buddhism, but particularly how he makes them accessible and uncomplicated. And it's my intent to do the same in this program. <clears throat> Let me tell you a little bit about the format. Each session will include teachings of foundational principles. We'll be exploring different practices. Sometimes it'll be a guided meditation. It may be a short poem or song. It might be a teaching on mindfulness. And there will always be time for small group sharing and a wrap up with the larger group. The first session will be an overview of Thich Nhat Hanh's work. We'll learn about the monk, his time in Vietnam and the United States his connection to Martin Luther King and the peace movement, and his creation of the Order of Engaged Buddhism. In the second session, we'll cover ethical principles and explore how Thich Nhat Hanh took the Buddhist Four Noble Truths and Eightfold Path and um, translated those into his mindfulness trainings. And then we'll explore how those are applicable to our lives today. In session three, we'll explore Jesus and Buddha as brothers, which was the title of a Thich Nhat Hanh book. But we will add in a feminine element by including Hildegard von Bingen from the 13th century. And we'll look at the connection between those traditions and their connection and relevance to today. And in the fourth session, we'll explore how these teachings really can help us heal ourselves and our planet. And we'll share ways to take these teachings into our lives and off of Zoom. I really hope you can join me for this exploration of Thich Nhat Hanh's teachings and the greening of the soul. It's very exciting, it's fresh, and I think if you join me, you will leave it feeling very refreshed, more in connection with yourself and others, and grounded in having new tools to maintain your soul's greenness.